Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. 欢迎你们回到我的频道。今天呢，我要教你们怎么有礼貌的说话。So in today's video, I'm going to show you four ways that Taiwanese people show their courtesy. Okay, when speaking. First, I want to explain about the culture part. When Taiwanese people want to turn people down and say no to other people, we don't feel very good to say like 不要 or 不 That sounds super blunt. So we try to we always try to make the sentence sounds better, sounds more gentle. But actually, our intention is to express no. Okay. And it might confuse you because it's not that clear, it's not that direct. But yeah, this is about the culture. So if you don't know about the culture of Taiwanese people being like this, you might misunderstand us. So without further ado, let's get started. 第一个，第一个，先不用，先不用 literally means I don't need it at the moment. Usually, we will add a 谢谢 in the end. 先不用谢谢 Okay, so when will you hear people say this, or when can you say this? For example, if you are in a shop, let's say in Cosme, okay, and then when you are paying, 你在结账的时候，他们说 they said, 要不要多带一盒口罩？现在半价哦。If you don't need it, you can use this sentence to say, 先不用，谢谢。先不用，谢谢。Okay,、uh, you might know to say 不用 or 不要。不用 it is good enough. 不要 is like very like like saying no. <laughs> it sounds like that. So definitely don't use that one. 不用 is good, but to level up your politeness, add a 先先不用。And 谢谢 Good number two. You will always hear this in the service industry, 服务业。呃、um, ，比方说银行啊，百货公司啊，店家啊这些的。呃、uh, ，你常常会听到店员跟你说，请帮我， blah blah blah. When those staffs want you want you to do something for them,、uh, for example, sign sign here or to cooperate with them, they will always say "Qing Bang Wo," which literally means "Please help me." So it sounds very strange. Like for example, on the high speed rail, maybe you will hear people say "Qing Bang Wo." 关静音 Please help me to turn the cell phone in silent mode. And maybe if you don't know, you will think like, okay, ah,、uh, you want me to help you to turn your cell phone in silent mode, like your cell phone. And actually, no, 不是不是 The person wanted to say, please turn your Cell phone in silent mode, and your cooperation is helping them. So they saying, "Please help me too." Okay, 请帮我 Okay, blah blah blah. The other example is maybe you go to I don't know a like shop or something require you to take off your shoes, and then they will say, 请帮我脱鞋 Please help me to take off the shoes. They're not asking you to help them to take off their shoes, but yours. Okay, so definitely know that.、Hmm? Next one, very common to hear when you、um, buying things and paying by credit card. They need you to sign as like some paper or things. They will say. 请帮我签名，请帮我签名。Please help me to sign. Okay, good. Number three, 第三个，可能比较没办法哦。可能比较没办法哦。Literally means um, it might have a like low chance to do something. Okay, so when you have a request and They people found that they cannot do it. Instead of saying no, like 
no, we're not gonna do it. We can't do it. But say、oh, it's probably less chance to do it. You know, it's not not direct, right? But they just don't want to say no directly to you. That's why they say 可能比较没办法哦 Okay. So example, 这个东西我只用一次，可以退货吗？可能比较没办法哦，可能比较没办法哦。And literally, they want to say it's impossible. <laughs> okay. Number four. Okay, so during a discussion, if you want to express your point of view, but you don't want to that people feel like you are saying like their thoughts are wrong,、um, you can say. 我是觉得说 plus your thoughts. 我是觉得说 blah blah blah. This sentence is emphasizing on like this is just my thought. This is just my point of view, and I respect yours. But I want to share my point of view. Okay, so. During discussion, it's super common to hear Taiwanese people say, "Ah,、uh, 我是觉得说 things like this to not to offend other people." So, for example, someone said, "Oh, 我觉得林小明真的很讨厌 And you can say, maybe you have different point of view. You can say, "Um,、嗯、我是觉得说他可能遇到什么困难，所以才会这样。All right, right. So I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And lastly, I want to share a good news about my beginner speaking course. So if you are interested in learning Taiwanese Mandarin and you want to build up your、uh, speaking ability to express yourself in Mandarin, especially in Taiwanese accent and wording slangs, know more about the culture. Definitely check out my description box. And that we have monthly. A live Q and A three times in the month, where you can ask me questions on life and also practice what you learn in the course. Okay, so I hope to see you there and see you in next video. Bye bye.